everyone. Welcome back to God Girls Corner. Gaia Bashe. One Welcome to the Gang Girls once again. Today, mm. today, the Gang Girls, we've decided we're going to, every month, mm -hmm. put one Gang Girl on the hot seat and ask her questions. This is like a new thing we want to start. And honestly, if you want to see more of these type of things, and like we said, we want to feature our children. If you want to see, like, you know, how the Gang Girls, we maintain our hair, how, like, Sister Felicia is tying her scarf like that, subscribe, like, comment, share the videos, mm -hmm. get us out there, yep. share us on every social media platform. Yep. So we can do more, we can produce, you know, and also tell us some of the things you would like to see the gang girls, you know, produce and bring to you to yeah. for you to watch. Mm -hmm. So today, my sister I'm here, nervous. you know, she's the she's the baby of the family. <laughs> Even though she likes to think King is the baby of the family, she's the baby of the family. Um, she's on the hot seat today, mm -hmm. and we're going to ask her questions. We the funny thing is. Nobody knows what anybody's going to ask. Yeah. Everybody came with their own questions. So any question you have for her, she doesn't know the questions either. I don't know her question. Actually, I, don't know. I don't even know what question I'm going to ask. Yeah. I'm so, nervous. So it's very random. And okay, um, first of all, tell us, what is your name, my dear? <laughs> so my name is Betusa Mary Amenichi. If you didn't know, because as of <laughs> since I got married, <laughs> um, I am baby Shiloh's mother. Yes, nowadays I'm very proud. To Mama Shiloh. Mama Shiloh is my name. I am Mr. Danny Amenigi's wife. Okay, <laughs> um, I live in Fairfax, but all my mail comes to us in drive. <laughs> Because that is my parents. Yeah, all my Amazon all my Amazon bosses come. Everything with. important comes here. Um, what else can I say? Is there anything else you want me to say? Please? It's up to you. You um, tell us. Yes. No, I don't really have much, but I guess maybe you'll find out more about me through these questions, right? I'm nervous, but I'm ready to get into it. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Does okay. any sister, you you look like <laughs> questionnaire calling and all. Ah, hey, as soon as you say go, I'll be ready. Oh, no, no, it's fine. questionnaire calling and all. If I can't, if, if anything, if I don't, if I don't feel like answering anything or if I don't sure, feel comfortable, sure. I'll just defer to say I'll answer it off camera. Yeah. <laughs> okay. How do you feel about marriage and uh, having a child? Oh, I love it. <laughs> what, what do you love? Okay, so I actually love the idea that I have someone that I call like my life partner, okay. and I'm also a very overprotective person okay. so i can be very overbearing for people but like he don't have a choice <laughs> um i will protect my husband and my child like till death and do it like i literally i love it i actually love being a mom i won't lie sometimes when she don't want to sleep i'd be like oh my god what if i had waited but then i'm like nah, it's okay i like it so yes that's what i think. that's how i feel about that okay. If you're gonna um travel back in any year, like if there's a time machine and you wanna go back, what year will you go and why would you choose that particular? Damn, that's deep. That's a very new wow person. I didn't think you were asking that question. That's 2022. Let's see. Can I come back to that question? Yes. Okay. yes. I will answer it yeah, and I'll come back to that okay. question. When did you know that the gang girls were going to like that this was actually real? Like, you know, because mm -hmm. we did shoot our like, getting to know us, mm -hmm. and I think sometimes people think we joke a lot, which we do. <laughs> so, I, if you remember, like, there's some people we say subscribe, like, they were looking at us, like, what is this? Yes. When did you feel it within you that the gang girls, like, this was real? Mm -hmm. Um, I'll be honest, oh, I, didn't, I didn't take it very seriously yeah. <laughs> um, from the beginning that we were talking about it. But I would have to say the first day that we actually met to shoot mm -hmm. and with the way all of y'all were coming together with your outfit changes, <laughs> I'm like, damn, these people are really serious. And like every now and then, like when I get the messages in the group chat and it's like, why are you not editing this video? Why is this not there? I have this. And I'm like, oh my God, okay, these people are actually very, very serious about it. Then I look at it, I'm like, you know, I'm actually glad we're doing this because like we always used to come and sit down and just talk and talk and talk mm -hmm. but i'm like i'm so glad we're sharing what we actually talk, talk, talk about, about yeah. to people and then yeah. i'm realizing that wow people really care about us and we really are funny yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's i think for me it will be like the first day we okay. shot our first video oh wow okay, okay. so i'm the only person i've been asked question huh? yes <laughs> I guess we're going to pop Anyone can ask the question. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 so,
<laughs> so you're married. You're making me nervous. <laughs> yes, I'm married. <laughs> what do you love about marriage? What do I love about yes? It's a life companionship. You said that already. What do you love so much? What do I love so much? Mm -hmm. huh. Like if somebody is out there and they're going, you know, there are some people I would never have a child. Mm -hmm. I would never marry. Yeah. What What, what do would you, you tell, what them would them you tell them? About okay. Oh, I would say do it. Why? Why? Because it's your it's your own personal family unit. Like you know, like you like in the other video, you were talking about like when you had your child, you felt. I genuinely love being married to my husband. I won't lie; he makes me angry sometimes. <laughs> but there are days I've looked at him like I don't like you, but I will always love you. Mm -hmm. Like so, for me, it's like I always remember, no matter what, and I think it's like as I'm slowly like maturing into who i am i'm so happy that i have like not just my family in right. sense of like you all and my parents to back me down back me up but like i genuinely love my like i love being with who i marry mm -hmm. because there are certain things he's done and said that i'm like wow i'm really lucky because i'm like no matter what he's lacking at the end of the day i'm like damn that one is mine. I guess he feels the same way too. Like no, no, no. That's what I mean. Like, at the end, yeah, I mean, I like a lot, but... Well, that's why they're out together. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Like, I, I I, couldn't imagine myself being with any other person. How about yeah. the first part? Oh, we're going to go down one, too. I won't give too much no, into... No, I'm just saying, it, as, it, as uh, having children impacting your just um i won't lie it has because you have a child and like you don't have all the time in the world mm -hmm. but i will say like you know how some people think that when you get married you have sex with one person for the rest of your life mm -hmm. no because each day is different imagine today he pissed you off that's not the same person <laughs> <you're not sexy. laughs> it's i've never different. looked at him that way <laughs> it's a different energy so every time is different like it's funny the whole thing is it's just fun and it's 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 Good nice. To know. <laughs> Good to know. You're You're to me. <laughs> oh, you know there are some people who actually like that. Yeah. yeah. Ask your question. If again. you could change, oh, she hasn't answered. I'm still thinking yeah, about it because it's a very deep. But no, ask it again because by this point, I think you should have given talk, talk about <laughs> oh, it. Enough. Okay, so um, what year would you want to travel back in, and why would you choose that particular year? Oh my God, Princess! It's very hard for me to answer. I want to answer it, but like I don't. She can't think of. I can't. You can't think of a year so like graduation like year. Is there a moment in time you can you will want to go back to, mm -hmm. to and maybe make changes or leave it as it either was. you like it or like why did you like that particular yeah. moment in time? <laughs> Sorry, it's too deep. Okay, really? so is it that deep? I don't think so. I don't I think, think she did. Did. You you're already there. Yeah, so I think you should just whatever is in your head right now. We want you to because <laughs> this is how the gang girls we behave. It's raw. Okay, yeah. I know. Yeah. I have one. Um, and this is actually not years back because like there's graduation that it is uh, whatever okay. it is. But I would have to say this has to be actually very very recent. I would have to say it was June, and I think it was June. 20 something the ending of june it was the day i quit my job um and the reason <laughs> I, last my last job and the reason <laughs> i'm saying this is because like it let me know that um at the end of the day i have a very great support system there's been many things that has happened in my life mm -hmm. you know me yeah me changes that everyone has supported me in. but i think in this one moment i realized that um this is becoming too much of my husband but in that moment i realized that my husband and i are really in deep like till the end because i remember i called him and i don't know if you all remember i was having like back pain when i was pregnant because they were making me carry boxes <laughs> <laughs> but i remember when i called him and i said this is what's going on and the only thing he said to me was quit your just quit and i said oh so i should give them my two weeks notice mm -hmm. and he was like i didn't say go there email them and say i'm quitting effective immediately because your life is more important to me than the job mm -hmm. so for me i would always like like i will always go back to it no matter mm -hmm. what because you know i've always thrown in my husband's face like you know i'm always quitting my job i feel mm -hmm. so bad but at that moment i realized that he will be with me through thick and mm -hmm. then he didn't just say the vows like yeah. he actually meant, meant it. it so you know yeah. thank you that's thank a really you. good one because yeah. it's like daddy telling us when we were younger that 
I like don't go like no matter what happened comes home mm -hmm. whether yes. you go and get pregnant whether like yeah. somebody beat you come home mm -hmm. so it reminded me when I got in trouble in college and yeah. I actually I couldn't call her but because <laughs> <laughs> she warned me right before I left the house mm -hmm. she and my and when I called he said ah Ima I wish you called me so I told him we, it's um, okay let's keep going yeah um, any princess, princess I think you are another Yeah, I was going to ask you. So, is there anything you would like to say about yourself? Ooh, like my body? Or yeah, like in my life. Um, I, Queen has been saying this a lot, and it's a lot of truth. I'm very quick to get angry. Like, I, I, that's one thing, like, I'm trying to control. I get mad for, like, sometimes no reason. Um, I'm also learning to realize that just because someone advises and this one i had to learn it through queen but i think you all felt like helped us especially when we were like arguing a lot i had to realize that just because someone is saying something about you it's not because they don't like you or because they're trying to critique you it's honestly because it's for your, your own good and then also something and i think i never told queen this but like i realized over time like as the as the year has gone by and like our relationship we've not been Thank God. I realized that I hold. We fought a lot. Though. Yes, you people. We no, fought. but I realized, and I didn't tell her this, but because I hold her in. I I told my husband this. I was like, I hold her in such high esteem that whatever she said, instead of me taking it as a compliment, I took it in a negative Way. connotation, right? Because I have different relationships with everyone, each one, each one of us. Yeah. But I realized that also because I'm so close in age with and her. The two of them are two. Uh, we're both very, very. Out, I would say we're out, out of female. Out well okay. spoken. Yes. Yeah. Because I realized that like princess will give you advice gently in the way you want it to go. Like, you know, lady will just be like, I mean, do what works for you. Steph Lisha will try and like guide you, but at the end of the day, she'll still end up with do what you want to do. Queen will look out for you in the like, like she she'll tell, exactly she'll tell you exactly what she wants you to do because she knows it's gonna work out. Yes, actually, and that's my problem. Yes, it took me so long come. to realize that the only reason why I was getting angry at her was because I really on. did. Re I respected what she said. Mm -hmm. So if, if what she said didn't go the way I wanted it to go, then I got yeah, angry, yeah, exactly. and the anger kept building up. So it wasn't cause of her. It was cause of my like you know. It was like you're fighting with your own so, inner demons. Yeah. yeah. So if like I, I, that's one thing like I'm learning is to realize that at the end of the day, everyone around me wants the best mm -hmm. for me, mm -hmm. and I have to learn to respect that. What they say is not always going to be what I want. Yeah. But then the one thing you all said to me was, just because we give you the advice doesn't mean you, you have to take, take it. it. But at least respect the advice in the way that it's being handed to you. And just say, okay, I've heard you. Mm -hmm. So I'll say, like, that's, that's good. good. I don't know, uh, do we, other people have, like, last questions? I don't know how we're doing on time, but... No, it's the okay. Keep it what are you grateful for? What am I grateful for? I'm grateful for my life. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for my friends. I'm grateful that Shiloh chose me to be her mommy. <laughs> Honestly. She just made a song. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for my friends. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for my No, I'm grateful for my life. I'm grateful for my family. I'm grateful for my husband. I'm grateful for the friends that I have. And I'm grateful for the growth that I've seen in myself in the past year. So, yeah. yeah. I think... A question I want to ask you is: um, Is there anything you regret? Whether it's something you uh, you had to do or you did, like mm -hmm. an action you took that you regret, or an action you were supposed to take that so you, you didn't? didn't yes, take. like okay. something that you regret. Um, this one, yeah, is just for fun. I regret not getting a Lexus. We should have gone to the Toyota dealership first, but we went to Honda. Um, <laughs> no, that one just, just really? yes, it's just bypassing the way. I mean, I was going to get the car because now they will give me a new car. Too. <laughs> So I'm just doing that one all day. Um, <laughs> but I will say I do, there, there are many things in my life that I do honestly regret. Some I can't share on camera. You know, some things are meant to be kept secret. Um, but I would say like, I regret growing up and saying that I constantly wanted to be a doctor. I would say that. Because that's the one thing I want to instill in my daughter is at the end of the day, say whatever you want to do, you can keep it to yourself because I realized that 
when you start saying that you want to do something and you always want to do this and i love my parents for this my parents are the kind of people if you say you want to do it they will back you up to like the <laughs> thousand <laughs> degree to the point that you yourself you're like dang why did i even open my mouth and say it because then i almost feel like i'm constantly disappointing them um so that's the one thing i regret majoring in biology um because there are other things i could have majored in honest to god i regret <laughs> picking that horrible major um I think it was horrible. no you don't understand why i say i regret it i regret it because biology is too specific of a major mm -hmm. if that makes sense mm -hmm. um i wish i had had more fun in college mm -hmm. those are certain things i regret mm -hmm. um this is a bucket list. Yes. yes. No, because so as you grow, like, I graduated in three and a half years. Have, yeah, I like forced myself to like time, finish like, things. When why was that? Um, I think it got to a point where, and I would say this. My husband and I, we've already had this conversation, so he don't worry. Um, I feel like <laughs> once I got in a relationship mm -hmm. and it was becoming too like more <laughs> serious, everything around me became him. Your if focus. that makes sense my yeah. focus was always him yeah. so then it was like i didn't i didn't care to go out with friends i didn't care yeah. to do this i didn't care to do anything anymore i just wanted to talk to him on the skype like dang 10 hours that's ridiculous you um, guys talk for 10 hours girl I'll, oh did you guys do i go to sleep and i wake up and the second my days when i was going to school uvu yeah if you don't know oh uvu. queen it's been so bad we've i've <laughs> left the camera on gone to class and come back just so when i come and it's ready so, so, no, yes I told so i regret doing that part sister felicia yeah yeah nyama I think I also um these are just little regrets, but like in the, like these are just little things that if I could have changed I would have. Um I regret my wedding plan. I see this video. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that makes me have money. to do our videos. Planning wedding waste we of money, yes. waste of time and waste of space. I'll tell you that, but I don't regret my wedding. <laughs> oh yeah. No, the event was yes. wonderful. Yes. And but that's it. Like I think those are just my little um Oh yes, the last big one. I regret letting <laughs> some people take so much time in my life to the point that when their relationship comes to an end, you come and you ask yourself, "Wow, why did I waste all these years of my life on you?" When I saw the red flag, we all know who I'm talking about. When I saw the red flag years ago when I was in college, I should have listened and I should have just kept my distance at that point. But no, I'm too stupid sometimes. But you know that is my biggest regret. Yeah, you said that some people were to be in your life for a first season. season. When that season, season and when season. the season yeah. ended i kept forcing it they to are, they are know? not even supposed to be yes. in your life for any season yes yeah. that's my biggest no, no there are no, certain people just, that are supposed are to be in your life for a reason it's they are season. just supposed to pass there are some people they are supposed yeah. to stay yeah. Yeah. if you so, force them some to people, go you are not you supposed to meet them that's no yeah there are certain people that are not supposed to meet but there are people that are supposed to be meant for a reason and a season look there are destiny helpers yeah if you don't meet them right if you don't meet them and you are supposed to go somewhere you, you will never, never get there yep. yes. you never you get know, there god is say, a purposeful yeah. a purpose, what you are your he, he, he plans everything he plans everything and i know but no back no character no no go back but i know you are supposed Lady, to stop me or, because come on i'm not going to mention him but you guys know my situation i was going to say i was going to give her when she came for her interview i forgot to ask her can you be my mentor i know you that was know her or disrespect her she wouldn't get to where she is today yeah yes so yes. for me that's all my regrets anyone have any so, more questions wow we just had a very deep like yeah <laughs> sorry i don't know if this was meant to be like light like i was just being honest no no no, 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 no we get it that's the whole point, point. that's why we that's why we put the gang on the hot seat i think this series is gonna be great and i we're gonna continue yeah i think maybe i have no i think that so you two don't come for me oh don't come for me i'm so yes thank you i hope you learned something about me through this and yeah but last questions, last Anyone questions has anymore? No. Oh, yeah. My last question is private. I'll ask them when we finish. <laughs> <Yeah. Okay. laughs> well then, as you know, thank you very much for watching this video. We mm -hmm. hope it was fun, fun it was yeah. lighthearted. Yes. Um, and if you have any um, any questions that you also want to ask Virtusa, yes, feel free yes. to like post it um on this uh particular video to ask her and yes. she will do her due diligence and answer yes. as much as, 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 much that, as she can you know, yes. feel free to ask any, any question, question. Yes. we will put it all together and yes. she will, she will tell herself. you one she time yes. yes so yes like comment subscribe like, share, share.
um, hit, hit the, the notification. So yep, when we yep, post yep, a new yep. video, you, you know that, yeah, yep. you see it and you know that we've posted another thing because we're just going to keep bringing new and hot stuff. Like, you know, you yes. know, the gang girls, we're versatile. Yeah. We are doing all that thing. Yes. So, <laughs> yes. Bolle. Bolle. Wabashe. One neck. One neck. One neck. One neck is logging out. So on that note, <laughs> gang girls are. <laughs> 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 <laughs>